Hi YouTubers, it's George. I'm in the man cave today and I've got a project on the go. But before I show you it and start on it, I think I need to have a bit of a tidy up because as usual, I haven't got a lot of space to work on the bench. And I've got wood there um, ready for putting on the lathe. And I think what I'll do, I'll move that on the floor and then I'll put that nuts and bolts kit away. Uh, I carry quite a lot of uh, nuts, different sizes. Bit of a nut myself, never mind. And then I've got a Dremel kit down there. And uh, yeah, so it's a bit of a mess. So let me have a tidy up. Okay, it's a bit of tidy in here. And uh, what I need is the pillar drill. And uh, uh, what else do I need? Files and um, hacksaw which are hanging up there so and my old dirty cloth is hanging up there for different things right i'll show you what i'm going to be working on let's just get it okay and you all know by now that i'm a stoveaholic i like collecting vintage stoves this one came up on the auction and um i thought by the photo it was brass but it's actual fact it's copper and i i bought it for spares for one of my other stoves because it looked the same um burner assembly but when i got it it's totally different now i paid um, including postage about 12 13 pound for it and I think it's a vintage one um, I think it's French but I'm not sure it does have some markings there which is B and then G and M and S G D G I guess looking at the design probably about 80 years old something like of that order but not sure I'll just show you the center bit and the centre bit there actually goes up and down to control the flame. Um, I've actually sorted that out because the mechanism is quite worn and um, in some positions it's a bit stiff. So I've got it so it centres properly now. And um, so that's a plus. And it's got this nice cap that goes on the top. Like that. that threads on. I'll give it on my... Uh, but the, the thing that's missing is the pot stand bit. Well, as it's copper, I thought I'd try and use some bits of brake pipe and make a pot stand. And uh, that's my first attempt there. But I made it too short. And the other thing is, with brake pipe it will bend easily but when I was walking on the field the other day I found a length of this steel it's like a it was like a big long um, spoke from a bicycle it, but it was about a meter long so I picked it up and I soon realized that it will actually be of use and what I've done I've inserted it down this copper brake pipe so I can shape it and it will retain its shape and it's quite strong so but you can see I need to do something with that if I'm going to use this idea as a pot stand um, the next stage was interesting because I sort of discovered that if I sort of can use brake pipe fittings, that might go in that hole there, that it would possibly make a stable pot stand. So that's what I'm at the moment. I'm trying to see if I can do something with these fittings so that they'll go in those holes. Now, I don't want to tap these because it's thin wall copper and it will split it. 
So if I can take the threads off of here, um, I might be able to uh, make them so they just go inside. I could do with a lathe, but I haven't got a lathe, so what I thought about doing is to mount these brake pipe fittings on a bolt and put it in the pillar drill and use a file to file the thread off. So that's what I'm going to have a go at. So it grips the brake pipe fitting in the pillar drill. I put a bolt through it like that. Put a nut on it and tighten it up so it holds this section and then um, I can put that length in the chuck so it will hold it so I can spin it up to speed while well, I can put a file on here and see if I can reduce that thread down so it will go in here. fitting so it goes in in that hole and uh, as I said it it probably would work regarding a, a stand but what I've also done while I've been uh, messing about I've actually made these copper out of, I don't know if you can see that it's not very good light in here see it there's one there and then there'll be one in there And then there'll be one in there and that'll look pretty good I reckon and all they are is brake pipe with that piece of steel like spoke up at the centre so that's coming on but I've got to make this so it actually goes in here tight but not too loose if you know what I mean okay well I've turned up the turn down the bushes or brake pipe fittings and uh, I've attached them to the uh, copper pipe like that and uh, I've used like a two-part metal putty here which sets you know you can drill it and file it and all sorts so I've attached these these three to there and they'll go in there and uh, I'm going to take this in the house where it's warmer for that putty to go off and then I can trim it if it's protruding too much I'll do that and uh, that's as much as I'll probably do for uh, the time being until that metal putty goes off I think it might be 24 hours I'm not sure